Hey, what's going on guys? Let's talk about your second stimulus check, weekly unemployment benefits extension, and stimulus executive orders. Let's get into it. But first guys, as always, before we get started, do me a favor, thumbs up this video so you can help more people watch it and also subscribe so you don't miss any of our next stimulus videos. Thanks. Now, you may have heard that the president signed four different executive orders on Saturday. The first one being a $400 extension to your weekly unemployment benefits. Hey, fun fact guys, we bring you the stimulus package news updates every day in five minutes or less. We don't make you sit around and watch a 10, 15 minute video just to get a 30 second update, guys. So please subscribe so don't miss any of our next videos, guys. Thanks. But now when the details has finally came out, it looks like this is more like a political show than anything else. As far as the $400 extension weekly unemployment benefits, the federal government will only pay 75% of that and your state will have to come up with the extra 25%. And since then, a lot of the states have already came out and stated that they may not be able to obtain because they simply do not have the money. In fact, the states have already asked the federal government for an extra $400 billion to help them out. So when will you receive that $400? Guys, it's not really $400. The federal government is paying $300. Your state has to pay the extra $100. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. If you're currently unemployed and you are receiving that extra $600 weekly unemployment benefits and your state decides they don't wanna opt in to pay that 25%, which is the $100, you're pretty much in limbo. You won't be able to get anything. But guys, it's not all bad news. Every since Saturday after those executive orders, both parties have now realized what they should have realized a long time ago, that executive orders are not the answer. So now there's a little bit of hope they may go back to the negotiating table and get something done. As soon as this week, we expect them to get back together to start talking again so they can get this package done. Both parties have indicated that they are willing to go back to the negotiating table to get the package done, which includes your second stimulus check, the weekly unemployment benefits, money for states, schools, and local governments, and also money for testings, money for the post office, and also money to our heroes. Don't get discouraged yet, guys. There are still some hope. We expect them to get back to the negotiating table. Things are not getting better. They're actually getting worse. This weekend, we hit 5 million cases. Both parties have said, Executive orders are not the answer. They know they have to get the package done for the sake of the people. The people needs it, the country needs it. So assuming that a package get passed, I'm not hoping for this week, but at least next week. So if a package get negotiated, passed and actually signed by the president, when should you expect to get the second stimulus check? Well guys, I'm putting in now first or second week of September. If we get a package done this week or next week, I'm still putting out the second week of September and let me tell you why. The Treasury Secretary have already stated that as soon as they get a package signed, he can get the money out to about 50 million people in one week because the system have already been established under the last stimulus package. They already have your bank account information, your direct express card information. As far as checks, if you're expecting a check and the mail, I cannot give you a prediction on that because last time this was really a mess. And I'm not even sure if they're going to send out checks. They probably send out debit cards instead of paper checks. We have to wait and see, guys. So for now, let's just watch and see if they actually get a package done. But we do expect them to go back to the negotiating table. I don't know exactly when, if that's going to be this week or early next week. But they both indicated that they are willing to compromise on their position, which is the good news. Hopefully, I can bring you better news next time. Until then, I'll keep my eyes open. If anything else comes up, guys, I'll bring it to you as quickly as I can. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul Wilson Tech Realty, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber, so please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.